In Dipid Effects, there are several ways to simulate the fluid. Um, the first way, which is probably also mostly used uh, because of its ease of use, um, is the density grid. And so we have the voxel store an according amount of density. And this is simulated then. So we are kind of uh, strictly bound to the resolution of the fluid simulation grid. And when we have also here obstacles, as we can see it here, uh, it works quite nice. However, sometimes you would like, well, to be a little bit more outbounded. And we also have the fluid particles for that. So let's turn off the smoke density emission. And we use fluid particles instead. I can simply choose the amount of particles. And let's turn off uh, the emission of smoke. And we can see the particles now in here. can do maybe 200 per frame and now simulate particles we see a very good example of the advantages now well they're not really bound by uh, the simulation grid first of all because they can freely move inside of the grid cells so we also have a nicer uh, obstacles behavior because they can really reach the surface completely and then slip along it. So particles are another way to simulate uh, fluids inside of dipid effects and we can of course also let them spit out smoke while they are traveling uh, through the simulation space. So we have uh, the advantages of both. We have the density which can take the smoke for visualization because that's uh, very the uh, the best method to to visualize uh, smoke densities and we have the accuracy of the particles which can slip along um, the obstacles and inject also uh, temperature and uh, also wind and motion in uh, more accurately in, into the uh, simulation domain. And we have also here in the particles tab of the simulation solver um, a lot of options to control the global behavior of the fluid particles like the quality and uh, collision detection and if the smoke should be emitted only at the first frame or continuously and we can set a falloff for the emissions dependent on age here and we can also let them inject wind and we can convert them to simple particles and we can create turbulence particles or vorticity particles from it so uh, fluid particles are a real alternative to the smoke density emission alone or uh, you can also replace the density completely and you can render the particles uh, directly with the gas renderer. 